Hey guys, welcome back to the 12 Days of Craftmas. So today we're gonna do something a little different than a normal arts and craft. Today we're gonna kind of do like a food and craft, I guess. So I just thought it would be fun to kind of change it up a little bit and do something a tad different. So today we're gonna be making popcorn balls, but not just regular popcorn balls, like Christmas popcorn balls. So let me show you what you're gonna need. Okay, so I'm actually planning on making two different kind of popcorn, popcorn balls. Um, what I'm gonna start with first are just the regular popcorn balls. And for that, you're just going to need um, some mini marshmallows, your popcorn, and butter. And then to decorate these, this is like a jar of sprinkles, all different types of Christmas sprinkles here. And we're gonna use this to decorate the top. For the second set of popcorn balls, um, we're actually gonna do it with Jello. So we're gonna make them kind of red and white. Um, so we're gonna use this Jello gelatin, some sugar, and then, uh oh, also not here, the Cairo syrup. Um, and then that's it. So let's get started. So first we're going to start by making the popcorn and you are going to need some vegetable oil and all you're gonna do is put enough in there to kind of coat the bottom of your pot. but you want it to be enough to where the kernels can sit in. So kernels are small, so probably only about that much. So you want it to stand just a little bit, but not a whole, whole lot. All right, so I'm gonna turn my stove on high, uh, probably almost high, about, my high is eight, so I'm gonna put it on six. And then I'm going to take Some popcorn kernels you are going to need a cup of a kernels all right so once your grease starts heating up you can take your kernels and put them in the bottom and then just kind of you want to spread them out to where they are see how they are covered I don't know if y'all can tell but they are covered um, just just barely covered with the grease with the oil, so just let them sit there until they begin to pop. All right, we got some action. They are starting to pop. So we're gonna put that lid on. And we're just gonna move it around like that just so it doesn't burn in one spot. So now you wanna be able to um, separate your seeds or if you had any burnt pieces, you wanna take those out and your seeds out. So how I do that, once my popcorn came off of the stove, I put it in this bowl first and kind of shook it around and that allowed the seeds to kind of fall to the bottom. And then I have another pan here that I'm putting the popcorn into so I can kind of I can kind of just take the popcorn out and leaving my seeds down there at the bottom. So we're gonna let that sit and cool and we're gonna make our mixtures. Well, the first thing that you're gonna do is start with a half a stick of your butter. And you're gonna put that in and let that start to melt down. As this is melting down, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my first bag and these are the mini. I'm actually gonna use this whole bag um, but I'm not gonna put the whole bag in at once. We're gonna start with half the bag and then go back in with the other half. And once you get your marshmallows in, you're just gonna keep stirring them around until they melt down. And I actually have enough butter and enough room in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of the bag. 
Now, while you're stirring, if you notice that you need it to um, loosen up a little bit, if it's seeming to clump together, you can add um, a little more butter. Um, but I wouldn't do a whole lot at a time. I would probably just add a little at a time. And I don't have my stove on high. I actually kind of have it on medium because I don't want to um, cook it too fast and risk burning the marshmallows. So again, just add the butter a little at a time. And keep stirring, keep stirring. All right, and now we're pretty much there. You can see, you can see it's, it's pretty runny. So now we're gonna move kind of quickly and bring our popcorn over. I'm gonna just remove it from the heat and I'm just gonna take this marshmallow consistency and just dump it right on there. I'm just gonna mix it all in and coat all the popcorn in the marshmallow. So now remember this was um, unsalted popcorn. So now I'm going to just grab a little salt because we want that sweet and salty taste. And we're gonna sprinkle the salt right on top and then give it another mix. And now for the messy part. Now we're gonna form this into balls. Um, and the only way to do that is with your hands. So what you're gonna do is make sure, oops, my butter. Okay, now what you're gonna do is make sure your hands are clean first of all, and then you're going to coat your hands with butter. Yes, coat your hands with butter just like that. And then you really just gotta get in there and grab them and start mushing them and forming balls. And the more butter on your hand, the better because then it won't, it won't stick. Cute. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot our sprinkles. Uh, where Christian at? This part is fun for the kids, so let the kids come in. I almost forgot the sprinkles, y'all. So sprinkle this on top of the popcorn. Here. Come on, come on. My name is Hank. Turn it this way. All right, sprinkle, sprinkle the green on there. Go ahead, sprinkle, 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 all over. All over, all over, all over. Shake, 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 shake. Oh! oh. <laughs> you gotta move fast. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, ah, ah, watch out. That's not good. So now we're gonna mix it one more time. Jeez, mama. So now we got us some Hi guys. green sprinkles. And look, y'all, when y'all see that you're Hi, Lord. that it's getting stuck, you're gonna need more oh. butter. You're Hi, probably Lord. gonna have to butter your hands you every you're probably gonna have to butter your hands every time you make about two balls or so. But there's some with the sprinkles in it. Alright, so now we are ready to make our jello red and white popcorn. So what we're gonna do, um, the, ooh, it is kinda hot. It's kinda hot from before. But we are gonna start with a packet of Jello. You're gonna need a cup of sugar. You're also gonna need a cup of of Cairo syrup. Again, I'm gonna turn my stove on about five or six, eight is my top. And then I'm just going to start to stir. And we are gonna stir this just like we stir the marshmallows until it forms like a, um, 
like a liquid until it liquefies. All right, y'all, so now we have liquid. And we are going to do the same thing. Pour it over the popcorn, butter our hands, and then start to form balls. Spell my name. Mix this up. Mix it good, mix it good. I want to taste one. No, no wait. I like it like that, like some of the white is still showing so it's not fully red. We got our butter again. We're going to, whoa, we're going to butter our hands and we're gonna grab and start forming the balls. You just really wanna press so you get it like that. All right, y'all. That's it to me. The uh, the Jello ones taste a lot better. They're much more sweeter, but they are all good. The marshmallows taste good too, but these right here.